Ladies and gentlemen, Mike Mayock of NFL Network. Mike, last year the New England Patriots had a very innovative offensive scheme. Some say it wasn't copied. What's your opinion on the scheme and, 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 and its propagation in the NFL, if any? You know? The scheme's only as good as the players you have to work that scheme. When you have the combination of wide receivers they had and the quarterback they have, I think in the opinion of, of Belichick and McDaniel, mm -hmm. the best thing to do is put the ball in the hands of your Hall of Fame quarterbacks, spread the field, mm -hmm. let him make decisions at the line of scrimmage, and then take advantage of the athletic ability of those guys you have on the edge. Now, the whole NFL is going more spread. More and more teams are going spread, but you still have to have the quarterback that can pull the trigger and make all the right decisions, and you have to have the athletic ability on the edge. And what's happening is defenses are getting smaller and quicker mm -hmm. to combat that. But I think the Patriots as an organization went into last year because of Randy Moss and, and Wes Welker and Tom Brady, and they made a conscientious decision heading into training camp, we're going to be a different kind of football team. On that note, because I asked Matt Ryan this question, what is your view on the idea that the college passing game is, very, is a little different from the NFL passing game versus, for example, 25 to 30 years ago? Why is that? Is it the internet, uh, the ability to go on, say, a message board, like um, I think Hugo's got one, and just be able to share schemes and ideas or Chris Brown's message boards or no, what's that, the yeah, reason for that? Or, or is that the case? Is, or is it the NFL? The reason for what? The idea that the college passing scheme right. is as sophisticated or in some cases more sophisticated. No, not even close. Okay. Not even close. Why? There's a finite amount of time college coaches have to work with their players. Mm -hmm. Compared to the NFL, it's not even one-third as much time as an NFL player would put into preparing for a game. So there's a finite amount of time to put a scheme in. So the scheme, by definition, has to be simpler. So a college, yeah, all these spread offenses that colleges are running, they're pretty simple. It's, it's like Texas and Oklahoma back in the 70s. It's an option game. It's an, it, it, you can run the spread for the run game, like a West Virginia's done, or you can run the spread like a Hawaii does. See, I was thinking about from two perspectives. I have the uh, 2005 Notre Dame playbook, which was basically very much like the Patriots playbook. Yeah. And then, of course, Coach Walsh. So I was thinking from a more, more perspective of what the NFL coaches have brought into the college game. There's and, no, yeah. no question that, that guys with NFL experience on both sides of the ball, blitz packages on the defensive side and offensive packages on the offensive side, there's no question that the guys that come from the NFL can bring a different scheme and a different package to the college level. However, it still has to be a little bit more vanilla just because the players don't have the time to implement that you do at the next level. How can people find you online? you have a website, Rex Chats? I'm just, all my stuff is on NFL.com. Thank you for your time.